Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from learn-automation.com. Today we'll discuss cucumber selenium integration. This is one of the most important topic nowadays and very trending topic like how to integrate selenium with cucumber, what is cucumber and what is BDD. So selenium has uh, so much facility as you can see we can integrate multiple tools with selenium. So cucumber also we can integrate with selenium. So in this tutorial I will show you how we can integrate selenium with cucumber and uh, how exactly we can run our BDD test. So my promise is for this tutorial, we'll talk about the introduction, like what is BDD. BDD stands for behavior, uh, behavior driven development. What are the different tools available in the market which supports BDD. And then we'll talk about how to install Cucumber. So we have some set of jar files that we need to import. So we'll import all the jars and We'll talk about the feature file. What exactly feature file, Gherkin keywords, we'll discuss in this video. We'll run the feature file and we'll create a test runner which exactly will run our feature file and finally we'll integrate our Selenium script with uh, Cucumber. So first of all, what is BDD? BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development. So if you are in the test automation or let's talk about if you are in the manual testing as well, you must be familiar with test driven development. So behavior driven development is just extension of TDD. So what is the traditional way uh, before moving to the further points in traditional approach, what we have, we, you will get a business requirement first of all, then we'll convert that BRD into the SRS system requirement specifications, then we'll create test scenarios and finally we'll create test cases. So you can see it's a complete process and while doing all this process, the actual requirement may not be as per the user requirement, right? Like let's say business has given some uh, specific requirement while converting into the test scenarios, some requirement may get mismatch. But in BDD, you will not get all this. So BDD generally focus on what to test, not on how to test. So what exactly BDD does, it use the place English to explain what exactly the requirement is. So you will not get any specific technical documentation in BDD. You will get a simple feature file that will contain some uh, pure English and it will contain what exactly the client uh, need. So we will use one Gherkin language. So we'll talk about what is this Gherkin language and uh, why it is required. So as of now, BDD only focus on the exact requirement and it use plain English to explain the requirement. I have some useful link. Uh, so let's first check the official link. So this is the official link cucumber.io. So let me open this. So this is cucumber tool. So there are multiple tools in the market which supports this BDD. So if you check, we have jbehave and we have specflow. Specflow is only for .NET environment. So if you are working with .NET environment, you can go through specflow. And in the description, I will put some important links so if you are working with .NET environment, you will get very useful link in the description. But if you are working with plain Java, then you can use Cucumber and jbehave. So this is the official site, Cucumber. So they have some uh, paid videos here if you go and check the video section of Cucumber. And uh, they have very good documentation here. So before going to the documentation, let's see uh, what exactly they have given. It's an open source tool for executable specifications. Okay. And you will see so much flexibility while working with Cucumber. So once you go through the complete video, you will get to know. So they have video, they have paid training, Cucumber Pro support. So if you are a paid member, you will get official support from Cucumber. But it's very easy. So I don't think you need a pro account here. So this is online training. Again, it's a paid one. You can go through it, but I won't suggest you. But if you're completely new and you want to explore, 
just go through the sample videos and if you are interested then you can purchase all this so if you go to the documentation anyways I have converted this document into a uh, easy way so you will get to know and you can see the cucumber implementation you can implement this cucumber into multiple languages so Ruby JRuby Java Groovy JavaScript and all these languages Jayathan C++ GCL .NET, PHP since I'm a big fan of Java and Python so I will go through the Java first so if you click on Java okay, so if you're working with Maven so you need to add only these dependencies I will show you in the simpler way one set of jar files that you need to import so this is a sample program which they have given so we'll discuss all this one by one so if you just go back so these are the required jar files that we need to add if you want to implement cucumber so you can see there are a couple of jar files so what you can do you can search all these jar file one by one and download this for your simplicity I already downloaded all these jar files and I will share all this jar so you can download all these jars uh, from my Google Drive I will share the link in the description so simply you can download all the jars in one shot then we'll use this gherkin syntax but before moving into gherkin syntax let me start with the installation part so I will create a fresh project uh, so simply go to file menu go to new and create a new Java project and here I will say selenium cucumber project I will click on next so by default it is going to this location so I will not test this by default it is taking 1.8 that's fine click on the next and you will get a library section so just click on it and click on add external jar so these are the jar files that I will go I will import now so simply select all don't worry these jar files I will share so click on open now since we will further integrate this cucumber with selenium so I need selenium jar file so as of now I will simply add one selenium jar file selenium server standalone 2.52 this is still old one if you want to use the new jar file so latest version is 2.53 so if you want to download the latest jar simply go to seleniumhq.org and uh, just go through this download section and you can see this if you click on this 2.53 so you will get this jar file I already added 2.52 but if you want to add the new one just add the new jar that's all about the installation part so you will get this references library right now what we added now let's jump into the gherkins now what is gherkins it's a separate uh, language it's not like any programming language but it's a general language which provide you some specific keyword which you will use while designing your feature file so they have given very meaningful keyword called given when then and so if you want to check the complete list if you go to their site uh, this and uh, let's check whether they have given Gherkin's keyword here so you can see some of the Gherkin's keyword they already given like given when then so let's search this Gherkin's keyword so they have already predefined so many keywords which we will use so actually my internet is slow so it's loading so once the internet is back you will get the complete list of this gherkin keywords but these are the most frequently one given the requirement when I click on this then this should open and so on so we'll use these keywords today while creating feature file so now what is feature file so if you check the feature file uh, they have like a specific syntax so first of all you need to start which feature you want to test feature is nothing but a simple 
uh, requirement which you want to test. So let's say I have a one feature, like I have to test smoke scenarios of Facebook. So in one feature file, you can have multiple scenario. So let's say if I'm checking test smoke scenarios of Facebook, so I can have multiple scenarios, like test Facebook with valid credential, another scenario, scenario which I can have test Facebook with invalid credential, test Facebook with registration and so on. So one feature file can contain multiple scenarios. So let's say, take this example, I have one scenario, test Facebook with valid credentials. So I can write in this way, given when open Firefox and start application, when I provide valid username and password, then user should be able to log in. So you don't have now any technical test cases, it's just a plain English and this will remain constant for developer and the testers. So there will be no requirement mismatch. So client have the direct interaction with the developer and the tester. So what exactly client does, uh, they will share the requirement and you can convert into feature file and you can test. So, uh, yeah, so when we type Gherkin's keyword, we got this cucumber link. Okay, so they have already given some keyword like scenario given and then when feature and so on. So these are the keywords, Gherkin keywords, which we'll use frequently. So uh, let me show you, let's create a new folder. In this folder, we'll keep our feature file. So in simple words, you can say feature file is a test case. So I will create a folder and I will give name as features or uh, let's say feature let's rename it features so let me refactor and let's say features so inside this features I will write all the features file now you can simply create a features file from the Eclipse but before moving into this features what you need to do you need to add a plugin uh, that plugin is uh, actually optional but if you install this plugin you will get uh, a specific way to create your feature file so you need to uh, add one plugin here so to add this plugin you need this URL so this URL I will share in the description so you can directly copy paste so let me copy this and go to health section and uh, just click on install new software and in the work with simply need to type right now I have some proxy set up on this machine so it is not able to read once I disable that proxy so it will work so for you it will not give any exception you will get a cucumber uh, cucumber gherkins plugin here simply select this click on next finish and it will ask you to restart to Eclipse so once you restart then you can start creating a feature file so simply right click on this folder and uh, create a new file and feature file I will give uh, scenarios or let's say uh, my application dot feature so the extension will be feature f-e-a-t-u-r-e -E. so if I click on finish so you can see I'm getting a specific symbol here so this symbol is for the cucumber so if you don't install the plugin you will get a plain text file here so again, this plugin is optional, but it looks very pretty when you have this plugins ready. So you can see right now it's a plain feature file. So what I can do, I can write uh, feature. So you can see when I type this Gherkin keywords, it's converting into a different color. So let's take one example. So I will type this, this colon is important for feature and scenario. So I will say, feature is test uh, e-commerce or let's take the same example test Facebook smoke scenarios then I have one scenario so I will write scenario so again yeah I just did one small mistake 
So these keywords will start with the capital letters. So previously I did a small s. So scenario says test uh, login with valid credential. So this is the scenario. Now to execute this scenario, what are the steps? So steps is when, let's say given first. Okay, there's no specific uh, sequence like you have to start with given when. So in given, we generally put all the preconditions. Okay, so let's say open Facebook or open, let's take one example, yeah, given, yeah. Open Chrome or Firefox and start application. And when you can see again, all these are getting converted into the respective color. So when I enter username, let's say valid username and valid password, then, okay, so again, T will be capped, then user should be able to log in successfully. So you can see it's quite easy. So this is my complete scenario. So I have one scenario, but I can have multiple scenarios. There's no harm here. I can have multiple scenarios. As of now, let's just stick to one. So this is a scenario, this scenario I have to execute. So if I right click and if I say run as, you will get one option called Cucumber feature. But when I run this, you will get nothing because this is just a plain text English file with extension dot feature. To execute this feature file, we need a specific test runner. So test runner, if you have already uh, gone through the Java, you must be knowing we having a main method from where the program starts. So now we'll create a test runner and uh, let me create a package, let's say, runner package you can give any name i just give runner and i will create a class called test runner i will not take any public static void main so now in this test runner you need to specify then please go to this folder called features please run this my application dot feature file so now we will use cucumber libraries so till now we have not used any libraries even though we imported much so simply start with run with and parenthesis and type cucumber dot class. So you can see when I say cucumber dot class automatically one import statement appeared and this cucumber is just a class which is coming from this particular library, this particular package. And you can see we are getting one error here. So it says, please import this. So I will import this run with as well. So we are saying run this particular Java with Cucumber. And now we need to specify, right, where this feature file is located. So now if you move forward, this is the complete syntax. You need to provide the specific options where the feature file is located. So when you type at the rate cucumber dot options, so options, you can specify where is feature file is located, where your step definition. So just forget about the step definition. As of now, we'll focus on the features. So I will again type cucumber dot options. And here you need to specify where the feature file is located. So I will say feature equal to and I will specify where exactly our feature files is. So our feature files, you can see, is located under this folder called features. So I will simply say features. Okay. Okay, so it was features actually. So now we have specified like our, all the feature file is located under this folder. So if you have created 
through other names simply change it so now this is your actual runner so this class is it will run through cucumber and it will get all the features from this particular folder so if I right click and if I say run as unit test so let's wait for the execution and if you go here okay this is the previous execution so I think something goes wrong with this options features okay so let's remove this there's some syntax problem so let's run it again run as j unit test yeah so now you can see it, it is starting and it is saying test facebook smoke scenarios so make sure when you type this feature don't give any space here uh, just now I check the documentation what is the issue so if you give any space here or after the scenario it won't execute so make sure when you specify the Gherkin's keyword for feature don't give any space same thing for scenario so now this what this is the feature file that we have written and this is the test runner so here we are specifying in the features folder run the features file so if I run this and if I say run as j unit test so you can see it is running this feature file and if you expand this so this is the runner package that we created so if you go back to our package explorer we created this runner package under runner package we have this test runner class that is test runner then if you see in our feature file we have uh, we have one feature called test facebook specs uh, smoke scenario so this is the feature this is the scenario that we have written and same given when then so now if I repeat the scenario as of now let me do copy paste but if you have multiple scenarios you will notice one behavior if you run this J unit test you can see in this feature you can have multiple scenarios each scenarios can have a different activity since I did copy paste so it is coming same but if you can have multiple scenarios in single Java or uh, sorry single feature file so let me run again because I want to show you something more important so if I right click again run as J unit test so it is saying pass but you can see we are getting a uh, one small symbol it says these scenarios has not executed this is executed but we does not have any code for this so if you check console window if I double click on this so Cucumber is giving us one instruction like uh, you can implement the missing steps so they already created a very meaningful skeleton for us so what we need to do we need to simply write the code so if you see they have converted that particular feature file into a Java code and uh, they are giving this skeleton so what you need to do copy this and uh, say copy go to package explorer and create a new folder uh, sorry package call you can give any name I generally prefer giving step definition here we will write the exact test script so let's say uh, I will say oh, smoke test And whatever we have copied which cucumber is giving suggestion uh, suggestions so what I will I will simply copy paste as you can see it's saying please import given so I will put mouse over and import the given I will put mouse over on the van and I will import this same thing I will do for then and this is all the dummy code so I will simply remove all this So now I have this code ready what I will do I will write the code inside this so it's whatever we have given it is converting into the method so if you see closely we have given open Firefox and start application so 
the method which cucumber has created for us is open firefox and start application it created a method for this okay and you can see the same thing they have given in terms of cucumber apis so what we'll do as you know uh, we need to integrate selenium with this so i will start creating the web driver script here so if you are completely new to selenium you need to check my previous tutorials how to write the script in selenium I will import this web driver and I will continue my code. It says open phase uh, Firefox and start application. So I will say driver equal to new Firefox driver. Sorry. It will ask me to import. I will put mouse over and import. Then I will maximize driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then i will pass the url as well so url as of now i will keep everything as hard coded value but in the next tutorials i will show you how you can parameterize all this so as of now in this particular method i will open firefox maximize and open facebook then it says when i enter valid username and password so if i go to Facebook and if I simply open in incognito mode so simply right click and say inspect yeah so we have ID as email so I will go back and I will quickly type driver dot find element by ID and I will give some dummy username so Oh, let's give some name Mukesh at the rate learn hyphen automation.com same thing I will do for password so I will simply copy paste the code and only I will change the ID so for the password field the ID will be pass and now we need to click on login button so so this login button I will keep here right now I'm not worried about the selenium script because my main focus as of now is to run this cucumber script okay. so you can put all the validations like after entering username password uh, it should navigate to the home page as of now I just filled some script here and now I can run this so again I don't have to run this if I go to step runner right now I have not given any instruction that please run my this so now we need to add one thing called glue so what this glue says give me the path where your step definition is stored so if you go to the syntax so we need to specify the package in which package we are keeping all the step definition so we also given the package name as step definition if you want to give some other name you can give so we have given is step definition so I will simply get the name of it but make sure you provide the exact package because if you run this it will get all the feature file from this folder and it will get the step definition step definition is nothing but the steps which you want to perform under these methods so let's go back to test runner run as junit test okay so now you can see it uh, it's executing and you will notice as soon as one step will get complete it will turn into green as of now Firefox is still not launched so I will keep in a maximize mode so it will be easy for you so you can see this uh, scenario started and this is getting passed and scenario gets successfully so now if you see so total it's taking 4.97 uh, seconds it's close to 5 seconds so this this step took three seconds this step took 1.67 and the last step took 
almost uh, one millisecond, right? So this is one scenario. You can keep multiple scenarios, and you have, can see here using this uh, cucumber, we executed our Selenium script. So let me go to the Package Explorer. Yeah, let me close everything. Test runner. Let me, yeah. So this is the complete view which I want. So we started with project creation. So let me give a complete walk through what exactly we have done. Okay, so we started with uh, what is BDD, so behavior driven, uh, driven development. It's extension of TDD. It only focus on what to test. It used plain English to explain what is the exact requirement and it used Gherkin's language. Different tools available in the market, Cucumber, JBH, Specflow. So we'll use Cucumber. Cucumber is internally implemented in Ruby, but you can implement in multiple languages. So these are the jars required if you want to start with Cucumber. You can also start with Maven project so you can direct get the dependencies and you can add into the Maven project. Since I started with a plain Java project, I added all these jars and I added Selenium jar as well because we are going to integrate Cucumber with Selenium. So these are the common Gherkin's keywords which you need to remember given when then and make sure everything start with the capital letters. So this is one example of feature file. So, and this is a test runner which exactly will run your uh, step definitions. So we created this project, we added all the libraries, then we created one folder called features, then we added one myapplication.feature file. Make sure the extension is .feature. If you want to get all these features, uh, like this specific colors, then you need to add the specific plugin which I have given this so just copy paste this URL and follow the steps which I mentioned so once you run this it will give you the skeleton of it you need to copy uh, the skeleton create a new folder called step definition and keep all the skeleton here and just add your selenium code so when you run this test runner it will execute this particular test so hope you have enjoyed this video uh, in the future videos we will parameterize this as of now you can see we have given the hard coded values but you can parameterize the which browser you want to start what username you want to pass what password and so on how to pass multiple scenarios how to run multiple features file how to generate reports right now we have not generated any report but uh, I can show you extent report also provided one uh, feature like uh, let me show you directly you can generate extent report for cucumber as well so yesterday itself i was checking and i got that particular uh, so if i go to java yeah so you can see they already have one plugin for cucumber so this is created by Vimal. so if you want to generate extend report for cucumber this is the plugin so you can add this and you need to add a simple plugin in this format so right now in cucumber options we have not given this plugin but if you want to generate extend report then you need to do this anyways I will cover this in the future tutorials so don't worry just try to cover what I have covered and if you want to explore much you can use their official website cucumber.io already they have given so much examples so try to explore it so thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any doubt you can drop me an email to mukesh at learn-automation.com please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and share with your friends thank you so much have a nice day bye bye